All right, folks, it's time for the monthly meeting for the month of March. <laughs> See if I can get more alliteration going there. The marvelous monthly meeting of the minds in March. Um, it'll be momentous. I don't know. Um, I've been told that it's a good idea to start a meeting with an icebreaker, with some kind of a joke. And a couple months back, I was Christmas shopping, and I found this book of jokes from Playboy magazine. Um... It was, this edition was published in 1968, but I think that the jokes are even older than that. The first copyright is 1956, it looks like, and boy, they haven't aged at all. They are certainly uh, in keeping with our uh, present ideas of what's dirty as far as jokes go. Let's see if I can find a, a real knee slapper here. Okay. The bleary-eyed, unshaven bum approached a passerby and said, Mister, could I have $20.10 for a cup of coffee? But the man protested, Coffee doesn't... It only costs a dime. I know, said the bum. But coffee always makes me feel sexy. Is that even a joke? <laughs> that's just awkward. <laughs> I don't know if that's funny. The sad thing is that that's actually something that I can see being said nowadays. <laughs> Have you heard about the newlywed who was so lazy that he took his wife to the bridal suite of a San Francisco hotel and waited for an earthquake? Oh, God. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Uh, a stunningly stacked blonde walked into a dress shop and asked the manager, I wonder if I might try on that blue dress in the window. Go right ahead, he said. It just might help business. This thing is awful. <laughs> Get that thing out of here. <laughs> My God. <laughs> start the fucking meeting <laughs> and we don't get another card for reasons I guess well I guess we lost a carrier but we did fulfill all of the goals for the month I don't know about all this hmm now I, I should point out going into this that Padre Reed didn't actually set any goals for this he didn't uh, give me any um, ideas for what I should be negotiating for, so I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to go for it myself. The Prime Minister wants to declare war on Australia and negotiate with the Soviets, the Thai, and the Germans. Chief of Staff is a little bit more bellicose, as he is wont to be. That's what the Finance Minister does with all of his fancy cards and all that bullshit. Just wants to negotiate. And you're a big sissy. I have a few ideas, honestly. Uh, I want to negotiate with Germany. I want to rec or actually get a military pact with Thailand. Negotiate with China. Negotiate with the Soviets. And with Australia. Should we declare war on Australia? That will give the enemy a new fleet. I do want to declare war on Australia, but I want to declare war fairly late in the month because I have some preparations that I would need to make. Um, well, but then I guess that's not up to me. Um, this is kind of a tricky one. I wonder if I should avoid war declarations if I'm not specifically told to do so. On the other hand, it could make things a little bit... A little bit zestier and spicier and more interesting, like a hilarious joke from Playboy. Other than that, I think we're good. Yeah, I don't feel like negotiating with those other jokers. Alright. Wow! I need more time to review your proposal! Oh, poop. It. Oh, he's going to pass it back to me so I can throw my plan down. It's very polite of him. Not too bad. Quit picking on me. Hit your guts. Everybody's picking on poor old 
effing controller here at this meeting. It's because of the jokes, isn't it? I have to agree with the Prime Minister because I don't have any refuse cards. Meanwhile, the fucking Foreign Minister does. He looks so disappointed. God. I'll put my plan out there. You know what? I should have actually done an extend there. I might get lucky and get past two. Oh, shit. <laughs> Somebody's gonna buy it, isn't, aren't they? <sighs> you assholes. Yeah. Well, the Prime Minister might win this one. I can't refuse him. Can't refuse his advances. His perspective bespectacled. <laughs> His bespectacled advances. There we go. I landed the play. Well, this isn't exactly what I would like. Shit. Well, hopefully we have better luck going forward. Prime Minister wants to do what? Colombo. Oh yeah. One more thing. So he's setting our sights westward. I'm actually not opposed to that. That's actually not bad either. I like that better. Colombo, Rangoon, Espiritu Santo. Okay. I might just dogpile on that because that is a stupid one. That's actually not that bad, but army destroy doesn't make any sense for that. It's a very cautious approach there. Um, we'll have, yeah, we'll do Rangoon, Occupy, Army, Colombo. By Navy. And uh, let's see. Espiritu Santo. El Santo, maybe the Mexican wrestler. Could be who they mean. I think uh, that was all Occupy that the chief wanted to do. Yeah, it is. Okay. Again, these aren't, you know, ironclad. We can. Uh, We can do whatever we want. Uh, let's see. Get rid of one of these extends, honestly. Oh, God. You let me down, man. That is a pretty terrible bug, how you can tell how many refuse cards your uh, fellow cabinet members have. Prime Minister has three. Mm, I like you! Looks like a Muppet. Good God. Close your mouth. I'll lay off. This is not a discussion where I'm really too keen on uh, getting into a big old smelly argument with people, so... He also looks like a Muppet. Whittle them down there. That's that's good. I could buy it and probably end this. Actually, I'm going to hit the Prime Minister. I know he's going to refuse this, but getting a refuse card possibly out of his hand is a good idea for future discussions. 
There you go. Good man. It was a well-timed coughing fit. That's my proposal, huh? All right. One, two, three. Not too shabby. The budget. Now, this is important because... <laughs> Uh, my fellow, uh, or my previous commanders, I should say, not that we're on any sort of equal footing, have been pretty cavalier with spending. <laughs> so, uh, actually, that's not bad. 55336. Five, I might just go with that. Because, um,. We've been really draining our GNP. Of course, the finance minister is taking a little bit too extreme of a approach here. I, I like the prime minister's idea, actually. <laughs> All of the money. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Oh, he's dropping a unified bomb. So there's three of us on the same side. It's kind of a ill thought plan on my part because now I'm on the side of the prime minister and I've weakened him. Um, I'm gonna pass it back to him. <laughs> He's just so excited to be at this meeting. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, good. Okay. Hopefully, the prime minister. Okay, good. Did manage to get a refuse. Nice. That wasn't very smart. He's behind on this. I'll just engage in a coughing fit as well then. Haha. <laughs> you big idiot. Yeah, I would love to state my ideas for the tech budget. Uh, now, I can't. I should have written this down, but somebody mentioned that espionage is actually really important because um, it unlocks other technologies that you'd think would be linked to, like, naval tech and aeronautics, but not necessarily. So I'm just going to dump a thousand in the rest of these. I could be wrong about that. Or they could be wrong about that. Because I feel like that's kind of weird that these don't have any bearing on those things, but whatever. There are certain texts that are linked to it, I guess is what I'm getting at, possibly. I don't really know how it works. <laughs> and I think that that's what they were saying in their comment, is that espionage, while it doesn't have any immediate rewards... Oh, I should be paying attention to this. It does have some texts that are related to it. Alright, um, 10, 11, and 12... This is, again, something where we need to not just take all of the fucking oil. Because it is doing disastrous things to our GNP. So. Let's see. And I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, if you allow the... If you allow the national supplies to go below 10, it... It's bad. You don't want to do that. I don't remember if anybody had this exact amount, but... I think that'll work. I should have given us a little extra, but... Oh, well, okay. Cut these jokers out of the loop. <laughs> Happy Tojo. Wow, okay. 
Good convo, everybody. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what I was talking about in the previous meeting. We None of us could agree, so it went like this, basically. It's gonna go as, uh, it's gonna go the same as the Prime Minister wanted it. If we all have five proposals on the table, then, uh, or if all of our proposals are on the table, then it just defaults to the Prime Ministers. Okay, uh, drafting. Oof. We don't need to draft too many more divisions. This is all bad. What's the finance minister want? Just one for me? I will actually agree with him. Because we, uh, yeah, he, as that dude just said, our GNP is falling. We don't want to get too crazy with this. That's A-OK. -okay. The finance minister has a respectable number of cards, too, so... Although he's a dork and he doesn't have any refuse cards. Good job, buddy. Oh, well, this is important. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, you already agreed with me. Ooh. So he's the one guy... Why are you doing that? <laughs> so stupid that he asked for extra time even though he agrees with me. There you go. That's what you should have done. Okay, um... No! <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> Come on. Ah, oh, damn it! <sighs> that was bullshit. That whole thing was bullshit. <laughs> Chief of Staff is the only one that agrees with his proposal. Foreign Minister and me agree with mine. See, now this is crap because we're going to have to split the vote and I should win this in all honesty. Oh, that's surprising. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that's a bunch of bullshit because the Prime Minister's proposal was m way more in line with what the Chief of Staff originally wanted. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'll take that victory. Um, well, we get to build some ships. That's fun. I'll have to probably refer to my list of names that people have been giving me. Uh, but we do need to replace some of our planes because they just can't seem to stay in the air. <laughs> uh, I'm going to build about six. Now 50. 50 is good. 50 zeros. Build 64 of these. There we go. And then we do need to build a lot of these. Although, do we really? Because they're not exactly that helpful to us anymore. Well, no, let's do it. These are fleet attacks, so that they're, they're torpedo planes. Hmm. Let's just do a hundred. It's not like it's that big of a difference. Okay, that's good. Let's actually see how many scouts we have. I did put a few scouts on one of the islands that we conquered. I honestly don't remember. I should build more with that in mind. That's good. That's one thing I've been really neglectful of, is assigning uh, planes to our newly conquered bases. So, I should be a little bit better about that. Uh, let's look at our transport situation here. That's not much of a cost. Okay, so we obviously lost a carrier. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, so I'm going to build another one. 
And the Shokaku class is pretty decent. So I'm not going to pick a name from the games list. Uh, I'll have to pull up the list of names that I've gotten from other people. Alright, this name comes to us from the pilot forever, a man after my own fart. The Onara, which is Japanese for fart. So we have the fart and the blood farts. <laughs> Will I start production of the Onara? Well, I can't help it sometimes. Alright, I think that that's actually all I'm gonna do. Uh, because we do need to save some of these supplies for, you know, fighting the war and stuff. So, um... Let's just leave that like that for now. We do have several ships being built still. Let's take a look. Yeah, we have a battleship being built. Should we build a sub? Let's see how much a sub would run us. We can build two. We're not building an I-400. <laughs> just so, just so we're clear. That's never happening. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It might happen. I really like this class. It's got uh, good armor, good speed, good torpedoes. Alright, I'm going to name this... Hmm. The Nautilust. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a suggestion from Sergeant Dan 3. I wonder how many letters we can fit in there. 11 characters, so bear that in mind, folks. Um, I've gotten a few suggestions that would definitely exceed that, so <laughs> I won't, I'll try to make something up. The naughty lust. It's a naughty, naughty. All right, cool, I think that's good. Uh, we're really <laughs> spending too much on this shit, but all right. I was the one that was all for fiscal conservatism and everything. I do have a lot of supplies that are tied up at bases where it's not really a, uh, I don't really need to have so many supplies at them. So I'm gonna have to do some redistribution. I'm not gonna send any spies out because it's pointless. Uh, now I have to figure out who is going to be the commander for next month. So I actually need to bring up random.org. I should have done this before I started the video, huh? And uh, come up with uh, someone from the list, so bear with me, I'll be right back. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, God. <laughs> Descending on Hawaii like a pack of hyenas. Well, this should go predictably, so uh, I'm gonna figure out who's next. And the lucky winner is Dark Shark 24. I'm gonna be sending him a message with all of the details so that he can be adequately briefed. He might prefer boxers, but uh, who knows? I'm giving him a brief. So, with all that having been done, that's the end of the month of February. Thank you very much to Padre Reed for achievable goals and some interesting goals. I'm looking forward to what uh, Dark Shark has in store for us. So until next time, this has been Effing Controller playing PTO2. I'll catch you guys later.